Hello, Pokemon fans, and welcome to part two of today's upload for Thursday. Uh, if you haven't watched my first part, I explained a lot of things in there. I'll try and set up a link on this video to link you back to that one. Although, if you're on my channel, it won't be very hard to find. Um, but anyways, part two of today is actually going to be showing you an RU match against a person by the name of Switch Squash. Um... Uh, the RU team that I showed was a gimmicky team with some uh, unique move sets, some move sets that exist already, a couple of uh, Pokemon revisiting from other teams that I have. So rather than spending all time explaining it, I'm going to get into the match. If you guys want to see more details into my team, go visit my previous upload for today and you will get more out of it that way. But anyways, let's start this off. He's going to lead off with his Gigalith as I lead off with my Kabutops. This is a Focus Sash defensive Kabutops with some weird ass moves. So he's going to go for the Earthquake as I go for the Stealth Rocks. Now I predict him to use the Stealth Rocks, which is a good play on my part. So I go for the Waterfall just to get damage off on this thing. And now after two, it's not going to be able to switch in without being Switch Fodder. So Kabutops has done enough for what he has to do tonight, or that day anyways. Um, because I didn't really need him for the rest of his team. I send in my bully. This is a quick feat Toxic Orb. I go for the return knowing that I can most likely take it out. The crit just secures it, but now I get my Toxic Orb up, so my speed is up to 310 or 311. So I'm afraid of this thing being scarfed, so I'm going to switch out, go into my own Rotom Cut to resist anything it could possibly do, and it goes for the Volt Switch. And it's just going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Kingler. Now this next play was very weird, I don't know what he was trying to do, but I just go for the safe Leaf Storm and I take out his Kingler. Now I'm thinking maybe this thing was Choice Scarf just to check me, I'm not exactly sure, but nonetheless he sends in Crocodile and the fact that he sent it in so aggressively tells me that it's got to be Choice Scarfed, or he's really making a good bluff. He goes for the Crunch and here's my Eviolite Whirlipede and I'm going to glorify it again. My goodness look at that hit, that did absolutely nothing from a Crocodile. I'm going to go for the rest as he sends in his Kofagrigus. I'm not too concerned about Kofagrigus because uh, watch how much the Shadow Ball is going to do to me. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Whirlipede, love ya. Anyways, I'm going to stay asleep for one more turn as he keeps going for Shadow Balls just to keep hitting me. Now at this point, I know I can take two more hits so I can set up my, st I can start setting up Toxic Spikes and he doesn't have anything to get rid of them. So he's going to go for another Shadow Ball, unfortunately he gets the Spadef drop, and I just noticed the Defense drop as well, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to get the second layer of Toxic Spikes up, knowing that he's going to be able to take me out. But Whirlipede has done enough, while those hits set up the Toxic Spikes, I'm happy. I'm going to go into Shellgon, also an Eviolite Shellgon with the Wish Passing. I'm going to go for the Toxic, just to get something on it, as he actually goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Not a problem, I'd rather have Burn on this thing than poison of any type because this way with the wishes I can actually manage the amount of damage I'll be taking. I go for the wishes, he goes for a Shadow Ball, again doing absolutely nothing to me. Now Kofagrigus does have a decent special attack, even when it's not boosted. So, you know, the hits are, you know, they're fair when you're fighting Eviolite Pokemon. I'm just going to go for the Protect to get my health back here as he goes for another Shadow Ball. Now, the good thing about the Toxic is I am going to, I will be able to check to see if he has the rest and that's what I am trying to do right now. I'm just stalling out his Shadow Balls and at the same time going for Wish Protect just to see if he is going to be running Rest because Rest will benefit my team in two ways. So I'm going to go for another Protect here, seeing what he's going to do. And at this point, he actually does go for the Rest. Now, this is good. If he doesn't have Sleep Talk, I have two things I can do while he's resting. I can Wish Pass safely because uh, he won't be able to do anything to me. Or I can switch into my Bully and either use a Rest to heal off any Toxic and hits that I'm going to take. Or... I can set up the Toxic Orb on the turn that he's asleep, and that'll help me get Bully going again. So Grand Bull is actually going to come out. He makes a switch into his Articuno. I go for a return, get a crit. I don't know if that mattered after Stealth Rocks, because if it was defensive, it might have been able to take it. But anyways, it's dead. He goes into Rotom Cut. I'm still fearing this thing might be faster than me. So I'm going to go into Legs, and Legs has, you know, a fair amount of special defense naturally, but apparently Leaf Storm takes it out. So that sucks. Uh, being a minus 2 special attack, I'm just going to go into Rotom. And the fact that he doesn't Volt Switch out of here makes me think that he is Choiced. Maybe Choice Specs? Or another Choice Scarfer. I have no idea. He goes into his Kofagrigus as I go for the HP Ice. I get a crit, which was nice, but unfortunately I'm locked into it. So I will have to get out of here. And I'm actually going to go into my Gramble. Because now I know he's asleep for two turns. And as I said before, one of the purposes of Kofagrigus for me 
will be to actually sleep off this large amount of health that I've lost. So I'm going to go for the rest, and with Quick Feet, I still have the speed boost, so I still be at 311 speed. So I'm going to start going for Sleep Talks. I have Return and Earthquake, and I'm hoping I have a 1 in 3 chance of getting the Earthquake. I go for the Sleep Talk, and look at that, I get the Earthquake. That's not like my luck on a regular basis, but I get it. He wakes up, and he actually goes for another rest. Okay, so at this point, I see it's pretty much hopeless. I'm just going to try and wake up now. Uh, try and do as much damage as I can. I go for Sleep Talk. I unfortunately get the return, which goes right through him. Obviously, he's a ghost. But I know I'm going to wake up next turn, so I'm just going to go for the Earthquake and allow my Toxic Orb to set up the turn before he actually wakes up and can do anything else to me. Because I do want the Toxic, obviously, over the Will-O-Wisp, so I don't get crippled in attack. So I got the Toxic Orb. I'm going to get out of here, though, because I know I can't do anything. But he actually... No, sorry. I predict this. I screwed up again. Darn it. I predict him to switch out, and I go for the return, and I catch his Rotom on the switch, which is amazing, because, again, just as in my last time that I recorded this, perfect prediction, and I screwed up the timing. Oh well, I got it again. I take out Rotom Cut because I predicted him totally. He goes into Crocodile. I'm still thinking this thing is going to be Scarfed, but I can stay in, go for a rest, as I'm thinking he can't take me out if he is Scarfed. Just looking at that damage, yeah, he's got to be Scarfed. But I go for the rest now. I still have the speed boost. Whether I get return or earthquake will be a nice hit on this Pokemon. So I go for the sleep talk as long as I don't get rest. And I pull the earthquake. So, you know, I would have preferred return. Would have been a much harder hit. Maybe brought him a lot lower and changed the game a little bit. But, you know, the earthquake will hurt him and he will take me out. Now, I'm not worried about his moxie because I've got Rotom Cut to switch in if I really wanted to. But I'm actually going to go out in a shell gun to try and protect stall him out of toxic. I mean, he's going to switch out because he, he's sure he can sweep it if he can live. But at this point, I think I pretty much have the match. Uh, unless this Kofagurgus is going to cause me problems. But what I'm going to do is, again, he's asleep for two turns, so here's the second purpose I can use it with. I'm going to go for a Wish Pass. Now, I'm not going to put it on Shellgon. I'm going to give it to Rotom Cut. Because when I switch it in, after Stealth Rocks, it should be at full health. But again, Pokemon Asoff being Pokemon Asoff, not going to allow me to have accurate numbers yet. So I'm going to get the Wish off on Rotom, which should be at full health, and I'm actually going to go for the Trick. Now, if he had predicted this, this would have been bad because I would have just given it to his Crocodile, but at the same time, his Crocodile would have died for no reason. So at this point, he's Scarfed. He's going to go for Shadow Balls nonstop, and it's doing a decent amount, but I'm calculating he can't take me out yet. So I'm just going to start going for Safe Thunderbolts, because again, if he switches in Crocodile, he's dead. So safest thing. I've got leftovers, which is going to help me take two more Shadow Balls. Now, I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt, seeing that I'm still faster, which is awesome. Now, looking at how much damage I've been doing, it's do or die at this point. Spideff Drop doesn't matter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to risk the Leaf Storm to take out this Kofagurgus, because if I get really min damage on that uh, Thunderbolt, I would this would have been a completely different match. Nonetheless, I take it out. He's going to send this Crocodile and look, he's at, he has to take out two Pokemon in one turn, which is impossible. So I'm just going to let him finish me off with the Scarf Crunch. And he will fall to his own Toxic Damage. And I will win with the 1-0 with a Burn Shell gone. So that will be a good game. Switch Squatch, uh, comment rate, and subscribe, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this match. A little bit of a longer one, but I was able to show off the sets from the previous upload. Again, if you want to go see now... Maybe after watching this battle, if you want to go see what I actually did with my Pokemon to make these things, then you can go watch it now. Nonetheless, uh, if you do like seeing these types of things where I bring my own unique sets, uh, let me know, and I can try and set more battles up like that. Uh, if you guys want to give me damage calcs actually on those Thunderbolts, see if I got minimum damage on the last turn if I didn't use Leaf Storm, if he would have actually taken me out and I wouldn't have killed him, let me know as well. Otherwise, guys, I will leave you to that. Now I will say have a good weekend, although saying it twice isn't a big deal. So have an excellent weekend, everyone, and I will be back here hopefully on Monday. I am out all weekend, so I'm hoping to get an upload done maybe tonight. Who knows? Anyways, guys, I will see you later. Peace.